And just like that, we're back, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today is a crazy day. We're saying bye to the Veyron because we're taking delivery of a LaFerrari. You guys saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. It's not clickbait. We are taking delivery of a LaFerrari. We're back, baby. I just got a call from the truck driver. He is 10 minutes away. Now, the problem is naturally, of course, it snowed in Utah today. Like of all the days it could snow, delivery day, we're gonna get the car, we can't actually drive the car, but regardless, it's gonna be here in 10 minutes. Well, this is one of the scarier moments in a vlog ever. Luke is flying the drone. <laughs> Do not crash it into the cars or the trailer. Days like today take me back to my childhood. To think, to fast forward 20 years, we are taking delivery of arguably the greatest Ferrari ever built. It's called La Ferrari, like La Ferrari, the Ferrari, and we're taking delivery. That is the sickest trailer I have ever seen. Are you kidding me? That is so sick. The double decker Batman has arrived with the special freight. What? What's up, dude? You made it. This is the fastest delivery we've ever seen in the entirety of the channel. You were in Chicago like, what, 16 hours ago? I don't know how the math like, works maybe, on that, maybe but 15. maybe 15, maybe 15. <laughs> this is the kind of like tenacity yeah. we need on the channel. Yep. This trailer is so sick. It's a double decker trailer. This would be perfect to move cars around. Yeah, and we could pay this guy to do it. That sounds great. <laughs> it is so cold here in Utah. The lock is actually frozen. Well, I guess we're not taking delivery. Uh, you see, I told you it was Next cold. Time. Next That's time. why the drone yeah. footage, if the drone footage doesn't look that good, we'd apologize, but like, we're actually getting frostbite. Oh, here we go. Obviously, you guys already know what's inside, but still the excitement. I cannot believe today is actually happening. The first time I saw a LaFerrari was in 2014. That was eight years ago. Never in a million years years like I was I had my Audi TT at the time I own no supercars and now look at this <laughs> oh, oh, look, oh my gosh bro oh whoa, whoa wait wait, what? wait a sec what is what is that ah uh, this is so crazy this is actually happening we've been talking about this trade for so long never in a million years did I actually think it was gonna happen if you look close you can kind of see it up there obviously gonna get the Viper out and then La Ferrari. There's some things in life where timing is absolute perfect. Oh my God! Oh jeez! You about gave me a heart attack. Johnny Shark, my entrance, God! Buddy. Always making an entrance with the Carry 660. He's got more icicles. Wow! Hey, you want nope. to see me Dude, burnout? hydration. Yes, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Just imagine the construction guys. Oh, so Lord. oh, 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 wait, what? What are you doing here? Oh, we, nice we, we talk. That's beautiful. Link below to your channel. Wow, oh, your wow. you're giving me a link to my channel on and your, my merch on yes. my channel. I love it. Yeah. Oh, um, please start. Please uh, start. Is this, is this the 85? <laughs> um, well, the problem with having a 2600 horsepower Calvo Viper on E85 is when it's very, very cold, uh, the car won't start. I knew there was a reason I had all my friends show up for the delivery. This is great service. That Viper is so sick. You should sell your Viper and you should get that Viper. I, I will. I'll do it. He's speechless. I'll do it. Oh, wait. I you heard it here it. first. We're getting exclusives. Not, Burlacker not is buying a Calvo Viper. I can't afford it. It only has 2600 horsepower. Hold on. Hold on. There's a kidney in there. We got we got some down payment. <laughs> this is officially the craziest delivery ever. We got the construction crew over there. We got Johnny, we got Burlock. Hey, we got I the school the bus. bus driver. You guys see this car. It's a La Ferrari. One of 499 in the world. It's right back there. This is so absolutely crazy. It is actually here. This is the coolest truck ever. The double decker, the La Ferrari has descended here on Utah. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. This car is worth like four million dollars. We have a four million dollar car in our possession. It's hard to convey how much like carbon dioxide is going on right now. Oh baby. This is crazy. He's gonna pass he's out. He's gonna pass out like he's legit gonna pass out. Okay, they just yeah, shut off the car. Out. 
Um, I think we might have to push the car. That's crazy. <laughs> Say that again, Lou. <laughs> I just tell him if he starts falling asleep, make sure you put it in park. <laughs> <laughs> the trailer is incredibly sick. The problem is, there's a lot of smoke. Now, of course, obviously, I got to explain the caveat. I don't own this car. This is not my car. We're not buying this car. We are doing a vehicle swap of the LaFerrari with the Veyron. So after we get the LaFerrari off, the Veyron is going on the trailer, and we're saying bye to it for a couple weeks. This is so insane. Like, what in the world? This is actually happening. The La Ferrari has officially descended here on the beautiful state of Utah. Look at that thing. What? It's so crazy to see this car next to the Viper because the Viper is not a big car, and the La Ferrari, it is so low. It is so incredibly wide. So, this car, of course, is owned by. Mr. 458 Destroyer himself. Guys, go follow him on Instagram. Link in the description below. He's taking the Veyron. I'm taking the La Ferrari. We have this car for a couple of weeks. All the carbon fiber you could imagine. Oh my goodness. We're going to get in so much trouble. But at the same time, we can't. Like, we cannot get in any trouble with this car whatsoever. We only have one goal in life, and that is in two weeks, this car goes back on the trailer in exact condition it's in right now. We are now officially liable for the La Ferrari, and now we're saying bye to the Veyron. That Viper is looking so sick. There's a La Ferrari sitting in the driveway. Well, Luke, you are officially responsible for the Veyron. Yeah, this is easy, not in the job description. Easy on the throttle. This, of course, is the old just-in-case angle. That front splitter is so low right now. Oh, oh, oh. Moment of silence, Luke. There goes the carbon splitter. Goodbye, splitter. <laughs> it is such a nerve-wracking process loading up a car this size. I don't even tell. Like we only have like a fraction of an inch on both sides, and then the side skirt we only have that much clearance. The diffuser we're good. The front end we have like that much. I, I could not do this for a living, but we're gonna make it. Oh, that is so close. That is so close. This is one of the most unique perspectives of the Vera because you can see all three exhaust tips right there, and then check out this diffuser. It's all full exposed carbon fiber. This is a 2008. This car was developed in like 2003. Full carbon diffuser. That is sick. This is the scary part right here. To get it from the lift to here, we have to drive over these steel plates. Oh goodness. Uh, I'm too old for this. I wish you guys could feel this right now. The whole trailer is just swaying back and forth. Oh. Our rate is through the roof right now. I was nervous about the La Ferrari, but like, th this is my this is my car. So although I'm liable for the La Ferrari, I'm also liable for this car. So I'm liable for both. <laughs> Don't hit the gas, Don't Luke. Hit the gas. <laughs> King to come. This, this could be the end. If you don't like your boss, seize the opportunity, bro. Oh my goodness. The car looks incredible. I love this color. This satin cool teal from KPMF. Look, it's so prime. Well, success. The La Ferrari is out, the Veyron is in. Luke, how you doing, big buddy? Uh, uh, I'm not sweating, you're sweating. <laughs> Wait, really? In the Veyron? Oh, sorry, bro. Wow. Now we have the impossible procedure of actually getting out of this thing, and Luke, he has to climb through the window. I guess I'm just gonna Best stay. of luck. Yep, we'll see. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thank you, Luke. One shoe right there. Jeez, bro, these stink. Are you kidding me, dude? I just, I just bought those. <laughs> brand new. This is your shining moment. Wow. You better not cut this. If you cut this out of the vlog, I'm not gonna be happy, Luke. Don't cut this out of the vlog. All right, see you later. Workers' comp does not cover you right now. Luke. Parkour, parkour. <laughs> I just realized we now have to push the Viper into the trailer. You see, it's a lot easier to push a Viper out of a trailer. Into a trailer is incredibly difficult, and somehow Burlacker and Johnny, they disappear. <laughs> Deal. Just like that, we say bye to the Viper, we say bye to the Veyron, and we have a La Ferrari. It still has not sunk in quite yet. Ralph, thank you so much for everything. We'll probably see you sooner than you want to see us, because I think we're going to have that car for two weeks or four weeks or six weeks or... I, I have no idea. This is so surreal. Now, unfortunately, because of the weather here in Utah, of all the days, like really Utah, we can't even actually drive the La Ferrari. And unfortunately, the forecast is even worse in the future. Obviously, the key detail in this car, I'm going to treat this car with a level of respect that I would never treat any of my own cars because it's not mine. So as much as I want to go drive it, we're not going to. This car is an actual spaceship that we just drop on in. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Dude, this is so sick. Okay, so it is so incredibly cold here in Utah. I think I might have actually gotten frostbite. Okay, come on, baby, come on. See, I couldn't even drive the car because I wouldn't be able to pull the paddles right now. 
This car only has 1,932 miles on it. Over the course of the next two weeks, we're gonna be tripling that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're not, we're not doing that. I know 508 Destroyers watching today's video, we are not gonna be tripling the mileage on this car. Also, the windows are fogging up. We would use the defroster, but obviously we have no idea where that is. And uh, we just gotta get this in the garage, close the door, and call it a day. There are certain things in my life that I never imagined would happen, and this is one of them. There is a LaFerrari parked in my garage, and Luke is trying to figure out what to do. For some reason, I could be wrong, I feel like you have no idea what you're doing. Over the course of the next couple weeks, we have this car, we can learn all the ins and outs of it. That being said, we can't do anything crazy, so in the comments below, let me know, what should we do with the LaFerrari? We can't launch it, we're not doing donuts, we're not driving it in the snow, we're not taking it 200 miles an hour, but if you have any good ideas, let me know below. Well, boys, uh, I mean, I mean, I'm speechless. I am absolutely speechless. The number of times I'm gonna open and close this door tonight is gonna be endless. Like, are you kidding me? Well, I've officially decided I'm just gonna leave the garage door open because when I'm in the kitchen cooking pasta, we can just see it, the La Ferrari. Unreal. I don't know what we're gonna do with the car. I don't know where we're gonna go with the car, but on that bombshell, today's video is over. This has to make the vlog. We're trying to figure out how to get the Viper in the trailer, and Luke suggested, he actually suggested seriously that we push it with the Gladiator. No, but you were gonna be in the middle, so it's Gladiator, your body, and then the Cabo Viper. You're fine. 